Hi folks, this is Professor Mughal here. Uh, so I sent you a survey last night and I was looking at some of the stats and I found out that 29% of you don't know how to use uh, Zoom. Uh, remember, you just need to be a basic user of Zoom. You're probably not gonna use all of the advanced feature the Zoom has. So I just thought of making a video and show you how would you navigate uh, in Zoom in order to, you know, uh, while I deliver the lecture in a virtual environment. So the first thing you need to do is basically download the Zoom. So I have a Google Chrome browser, so I would just type in Zoom download and the first thing that comes up is basically uh, that's where you need to go. So click on this link right here and that is what you need to do. Uh, download, click on it. I've already downloaded so I'm not going to do that. But if you have a tablet or using, using a smart tablet, it has the iOS and the Android version of it, uh, which should be available on your Play Store or Google Play, um, and should not take more than uh, two minutes to download. So once you download and you go to Zoom, uh, you need to click on Join, okay? Uh, before, a uh, few other basic things, you know, you might wanna uh, have a customized profile. So say if I go to General, um, you might not want to change any of these um, just make sure you know if you want to make sure like your video is working fine um, right now it's not appearing it's not showing um, it's not capturing me and one of the reason is because I have I'm using actually webcam for studio uh, but if you want to uh, if you are going to turn your video on and you want to make sure like how do I look like you know so you might want to check this and make sure you have the audio you can test it here, uh, share screen, you don't have to worry about this part right here, uh, and some basic. So uh, feel free to explore these things right here. Now once you once you do that, and also please make sure you, um, you have your name on it, you can uh, actually, my go to my profile, it will pull up over here. And then you can change your settings you know so you can put your name and your uh, any other information that you think uh, you might want to put in there okay all right so once you have everything set up you might want to go to join uh, I have already provided uh, uh, provided you with the zoom personal ID of mine so that is this right here and then <clears throat> do not connect to audio turn off my video now the settings that I have set for this meeting is by default your video will be off and your audio will also be uh, inactive it is up to you whether you wanna have your uh, video on uh, but I strongly recommend when once you join the meeting make sure you are you unmute your mic uh, and the reason for that is we have 92 students in the class actually 102 till now and there are still more students joining in if we all have the audio on then there might be a lot of echo and uh, it might just create a little bit of disturbance so make sure you know uh, even if you don't put the check here it will by default everything will be mute okay so I'm gonna join the meeting also folks remember I have the zoom pro version of it so your might be a little different but the features that you will be using they are available in the basic version of zoom as well okay so I'm going to uh, maximize this window now starting on the left starting on the left you have this mute right here uh, right now I am the host so I have uh, I can unmute it if I need to by just clicking on it if I click it one more time uh, you know you can see those bar moving up and down as I'm speaking uh, you want to make sure if you click on this arrow you have the right um, microphone and speaker set and you can also test it uh, similarly uh, video I'm not sharing the video right here but if I need to I just need to click on it uh, manage participants when I when you click on manage participant you will see all 102 students including me over here I'm gonna move this over here the top left okay yeah so uh, 
I like to do my courses interactively uh, and you know I would still want to do it even though we, we will be uh, learning in a virtual environment so my video will be on so you can see me uh, and then you know I might ask you a question hey you know uh, is that clear folks what I just uh, we just finished example number one is that clear to everyone so instead of maybe you know uh, saying something verbally you can use these emotions right here in the participants you can say yes and right next to your name i would have yes so i can scroll down all of the uh, students and uh, all the students will be queued over here on this screen and i can see your oh, okay everybody got it if someone says no then i might want to go over that problem one more time or i may just or i may just ask that person hey can you open your mic and explain uh, what did you uh, what do you want me to explain further or what is that something that you did not understand what is that uh, and similarly you can provide me a little bit of feedback you know it's gonna be a learning curve for all of us um, so I would really uh, you know uh, want you to be patient uh, and then help each other in any way you can okay uh, for some reason I was kicked out so let me get in again okay alright so I was at the managed participants okay similarly there are more uh, there's another uh, so if you go to more you can say dislike I don't like it or you can say like it or you can clap feel free to do that um, and also there's one option which is missing here it's called raise hand and the reason it's not showing up on mine because I'm the host so raise hand would mean that when you press on raise hand again that raise hand would appear right next to your name and I would know that this person has a question to ask and I would say hey Austin do you have any question do you want to say something so all right um, polls you're not gonna be using that you don't have to worry about it I'm gonna be sharing my screen with you guys so when I click on it basically it's gonna ask me to share my screen and I say share so everybody can see my screen uh, so as I do the annotation on my notes you guys uh, would be able to see me um, okay let me get out of this stop sharing um, record you should be able to manually record the lecture on your own even though on the uh, on the on the canvas if you go to modules you will basically see all of the lectures I have already pre-recorded them and they're available the links are already available up there uh, but I would still be recording uh, the lectures and I'll share it with you guys later but you can you guys can also manually record the lecture um, you don't have to worry about breakout rooms and anything else so this is how you know uh, we would interact with each other in a in a virtual environment this is something you want to do uh, with the lab sessions also so when it's lab time you basically log in and if you have any question just raise your hand uh, one of us uh, myself or one of the TAs would uh, listen to you uh, you can also uh, there's another option which is chat okay if you if you are shy and you feel like you don't want to disturb or you just uh, want to uh, send a text message you can go to chats and here you can say uh, hi professor uh, can you explain the problem one again please okay. so when you do that I will receive a notification that hey Sarah wants to wants me to go over problem number one again she didn't get it so I can just go over it all over again okay um, and, and again folks uh, some of you you know might have uh, prior knowledge coming to the class but there are a lot of people who comes with different major and background they might not have enough so there might be some repetition so please be patient uh, and I'm looking forward to having a great time with you guys uh, it's gonna be a very interesting experience I'm really excited about it uh, if you have any question please um, send me an email about it or you should be able to comment on it right below the video when I upload this on canvas have a wonderful day and I shall see you on Friday there's an open session if you may have any question related to the course uh, or any resources that you may need please free feel free to log into that session again it's Friday 3 to 4 p.m. 
I already sent the details earlier and you should be able to find them on Canvas also. All right, bye-bye, have a good day.